Hi there, in this video, I am going to be giving you a full flip through at the Life Planner and at the Faith Planner. Now, the reason why I am doing these side by side is because these planners are very similar and I will be sharing just some of the main differences. And for this example, I will be using the Strawberry Matcha theme for the Faith and I will be using the Boho theme for the Life. Now, I do want you to know that we have a lot of themes launching maybe you want a yellow theme there is a floral theme and you can choose your theme but for the video i will be using these two so let's go ahead and start and i want to open this one up so i'm going to tap on it to open it now in this video i will just be giving you a flip through and some quick tips when you purchase you do get step-by-step -step tutorial videos on how to download and transfer everything so same thing when we open our Boho Planner, we are going to be in the welcome page. Now I wanna go over some hidden links. So when you tap on your monthly view, I am using the Sunday undated version, but you also get the Sunday dated version for 2022, Monday undated and Monday dated. So you do get those four options you get to choose from. So um, this is the Faith Planner. So. All of these bottom right corners are invisible, but they will take you to the corresponding week. This is the default weekly view. You get to add stickers and widgets here. And right now I will also give you a flip through at the sticker book that comes with all of the planner purchases. Then you can tap on any day of the week and it will take you to your daily view. And then something that's new is you can tap here to this arrow and it will take you back to the corresponding weekly view. Same thing with our life planner we get to tap on any bottom right corner and then it takes us to our weekly view. Then we're able to tap on any day of the week, it takes us to our daily view, and then we can come back to our weekly view. Um, so let's go ahead and show you some other hidden links. The little ribbons will always take you back to your cover and um, tapping on the cover will open it. This little pen tool is very important. We're gonna go through all of the links, all of the inserts that come in your dashboard. And as you can tell, our Faith Planner, that is another main difference, our Faith Planner does have this whole section here with faith-related inserts like Bible study, prayer sermon notes, and you won't see this in the Life Planner because it is not a Faith Planner. Now, the default daily view for the Life Planner is this one. You have your schedule, space for customization, to-do list, but your daily view for the Faith Planner does come with a reflective se reflection section and you also get a verse of the day. Every day is a different verse. So I think that's really neat. You kind of get to reflect on your day and then you have the same layout that comes in the life planner on the other side. So it's just about choosing which planner works best for you. The daily views are different on both, but the weekly views are the same on all of them. So let's go ahead and move on and I'm going to go to my dashboard now, while I'm giving you this flip through, I also want to give you some quick tips. So since this is a linked planner and right now we're going to go through all of these templates, I recommend for you not to delete any pages in this planner, just because if you delete a page, it could mess up all of your planner because everything is hyperlinked. So if I want to go to my wellness tracking, it's going to take me there. I will show you how to move these around and how to duplicate pages throughout this video but I did want to mention that from the beginning. Now, if you're looking for a planner that doesn't have so many links, but you also just want to choose and pick which inserts you'd like, I definitely recommend for you to choose the dust pad. Um, I do have a flip through of this one also, actually changed the, the cover on this one, but you can actually um, watch the flip through of the dust pad. This is kind of a build your own, add as you go, add what you need kind of planner. And then the Boho Life Planner or any theme life planner and the faith planners do come with all your templates pre-linked so let's go ahead and start all of these templates here are linked here on the side with our icons and then we also have our custom tabs so you do get 40 sections that you get to customize to fit your needs and you get to label this whatever you'd like and then insert the pages that you would like and we will also go over this once i'm done with the flip through so let's go ahead and start at yearly planning. We have our yearly planning sheet and you can also tap on your quarters and do a quarterly review. 
I can also access it here. As you can see, this is the undated version, but if you would download your dated version, it would look something like this. So then you have your quarterly reflections. You have your planning ahead. This can be used for 2023 or for the current year. Then you have your master to-do list. So I will be swapping back and forth so you can see. Remember, this is the life planner and this is the faith planner. So if I tap on the little pencil, I will always be taken to a master to-do list. And let's just say I like another sheet of these. I can just come up here to the, to the paper with a plus sign and do current template. And I can duplicate that as many times as I'd like. So that's a little tip. Then the little notepad is going to take me to a notepad. I think this part is very important because sometimes I'm just like needing a quick place to jot down anything someone's telling me, a reminder. So this little notepad is going to be the place to do all of that. Same thing, unlimited times to duplicate. Then we have our My Templates part. So I do have a separate video in the video library where you can um, watch that and I show you how to make this into a custom section. You can always find the video library by going to the help videos in the front and you will be taken to our website. So anything I don't cover in this video, I guarantee there's a video made on it there, even the hex codes, how to get the hex codes for your planner, all of that is in there. So let's go ahead. This is a place for you to add your own sheets. Then we have our finance templates. Now what I love about these planners is that you have a template library so you can kind of see what template it is that you're clicking before actually going to it. So I'm looking for my monthly expenses. I can either just tap on it like that, or I can also access it through my dashboard. So monthly expenses are here, or I can come to my icon and find it. So there are different ways that you can access it and you can either use it here and then duplicate it like we were doing, or let's just say I'd like this template inside one of my custom tabs. I'm going to select it and copy it. Four square select copy then i am going to go into my custom tabs let's just say tab number one i would like for it to be my monthly expenses so i'm going to write monthly expenses then i can tap on it and here i can also label monthly expenses so i'm going to use a different option to show you different things you can do i am using the um, text feature where your handwriting becomes text, which is this one. And I can do my table of contents here. Maybe I'm just doing January, February, or March. You can add stickers here or anything you'd like. So then I can go to my four squares and I can add page after and paste the page. And then I can duplicate this page as many times as I'd like. So when I go to my custom tabs, I have my monthly expenses and I have everything I want in there. So let's go ahead and continue with our flip through. I'm gonna go just one by one. So I'm gonna to go to my finance overview, bill tracker, monthly budget, different options for that, finances, expense log, monthly expenses, debt tracker, finance, financial charts. And then this little heart, I'm gonna move planner so you can see it now in the live. This little heart will take us to our wellness and fitness. So we can also tap on them through here. And we are going to see wellness, symptom trackers, workout plans, and all of these templates, I'm just gonna go a little quicker. Then we have our meal planning tab, so I'm gonna tap on it here. Then we can have our weekly meal planners, different options for you to choose from. Monthly meals, meals and fitness, kitchen inventory, I really need to use this one. Grocery list, different options, recipe. And then you have your, this little section right here is going to take you to your project planning. These can be used for anything. I personally use them for my business when I'm doing launches, but you can also use them for home projects, just any projects you have in mind. Then you have your goal planning templates, short-term, long-term, weekly review. You can insert these into your weekly views if you'd like, weekly schedule, routines. Then you have your meetings. If you're typing, you can use the blank side, that way it doesn't mess up with your lines. You also have line paper, bullet paper, and graph paper. Then you have your travel te travel templates, checklist, outfit planner. So we have all of this, places to visit, travel expenses, packing lists, and travel highlights. You can actually add images here. And then you have your sticker organizer. I also go in 
depth in a video in the video library on how you can customize to fit this to fit your needs or something that you can do in your sticker book and i will give you a full flip through of this is just grab all your stickers if, in case you want to just have everything in one place and i can yeah, long press and paste and i can bring all my stickers here that way i know that they are all in one place and by the way you can also add these stickers into your elements so if i come here i can go to add element and i can add it into anywhere i want let's just say widgets so then whenever I'd like to access a sticker, I can come to my elements and I can go and find wherever I inserted it and then add it to wherever I'd like. So that's another place that you can keep your stickers. Um, let's go ahead and move forward to our extra pages. It's very important. I am going to go over something hidden here. So you have your blank pages. And like I said, you can move these anywhere you'd like on your planner the way I just showed you. This is the dotted, the grid, the line, double lined. We have different sorts, so you can create your own templates also. Double pages. And then towards the end, if we come to our extra pages, we see that the last one linked is our double dotted. So once you go to that last linked extra page, if you keep scrolling, you're gonna find some extra weekly views that you can kind of mess around with and make them fit to your needs. So the default weekly view, I already showed it to you, but let's just say that one week you'd like to use this one. I'm gonna go to my four squares and select it and copy it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just, you can, I can either insert it right here, call it my custom weeks and insert this template here or same process, add page after paste page. Or what I can also do is go to, let's just say I'd like this week to use that template so I am going to add that page after, paste the page. So that whenever I come to January and I'm looking for that template, I can just swipe one and then use that as my default weekly view for that week. So you will find just some extra weekly options towards the end of your planner. So I did want to go over that. Now that is um, okay, so I, I need one more thing. So when you go to your monthly views and if you click on this icon, you will be taking to your monthly review page and you do see that on the faith planner and on the life planner. So um, that is kind of how you can use that. Now I do want to say that that those are all the templates for the life planner. If you see the life planner doesn't have those icons here at the top and the faith planner does have these icons here at the top just because like I mentioned, the Faith Planner does come with some extra templates. So we're going to now see all the templates that the Faith Planner comes with. So it's the same ones that we just went over, all the travel, the project, the wellness, all of that. So we go into our heart work year prep. And this is just a section where since this is a Faith Planner, it is very reflective and you get to set up your year. You will see that you will see some Bible verses along these pages so you can plan your year for success and it does have a little place for you to put your verse of the year your word of the year set up your morning routines your ideal week your ideal day you can color code what you're doing at what time that way you're very intentional with your time what's recurring at a glance for example monthly bills are recurring at a glance and quarterly i do my quarterly taxes and stuff like that then you have your faith board i will be doing a video on how i do mine and how I add images to my faith board. Then you have your reflections tab and you can insert these anywhere you'd like. They are very faith related. And you also have your daily reflections, deep self reflections. I love to do this one and I do show you a Bible verse that kind of sums it all up. Then you have your section for sermon notes. I love this section just because I get tired of using the same template. So I did include several for you to choose from and kind of mess around with. So I'm going to keep going. And we have our prayer dashboard, our prayer tab, which is, I'm going through them, but all of these are hyperlinks. So this is this would be the prayer tab. And then we have sections for you to jot down your prayer requests, scripture prayer. Then we have our Bible study, which is a little highlighter. And you kind of get to use these templates to study scripture write scripture then you have your book notes 
you can add a picture of the book you're reading and then your daily takeaways for that book. I highly recommend doing that. Then you have your versus hub. I love this section so much. So it's kind of Bible verses by category. You're feeling stressed. I wrote down some Bible verses you can search up and then you can actually write that scripture down and then prayer journal or write your thoughts on it. I love that everything is categorized by emotions or by feelings. You have a reference for your favorite scriptures and then this little scroll at the end will take you to your Bible tracker where you're able to just write down, um, highlight or check mark all the chapters of the books of the Bible that you have read. So those are all the extra templates that come with the faith planner that the life planner doesn't come with, but everything else is the same. The main difference, like I said, is the daily view from the faith to the life and those faith templates. Now, one more thing I do want to show you is how you can actually change the name of your planner. Let's just say you'd like to call it Faith. I just tapped on the top, Faith Planner. You can do that. Another customization is you can come here to the three dots and you can go to scrolling direction. I recommend for you to keep it at horizontal because it feels more like a planner. I feel like that it's more like a page. So if I keep it at horizontal, it will be more of a planner feel. Anything that I did not go over in this video, you will be able to find it in the help videos. So I do highly recommend for you to go to our help library and you will find flip throughs and you will also find help tutorials. If you're stuck with anything, you can hear back from us in one to two business days by going to this contact us button and we will gladly assist you. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.